நீங்க இதுல பாத்துக்கிறீங்களா நான் யூடியூப் பார்க்கட்டுமா ஓகே சார் இந்த சந்திரக்குட்டி வந்து இது பண்ணுங்க சார் அவன் தான் ரொம்ப டிஸ்டர்ப் பண்றான் ஓகே ஓகே சார் father vidyut ki naam se online ah ha yes is now the okay okay donation hello Hello Vidya ma'am Hello Vidya ma'am Hello Vidya Mr Surya sir kindly rejoin Mr Surya sir kindly rejoin Solomon uh, Surya is present thing can i just ask him to close it please yes sir sure sir can i just ask him to close it please sure sir sure sir uh there is only one uh, uh, glitch in this i am uh, not sharing my uh, powerpoint presentation i am doing the group video so basically uh, you should be the one who will be stopping all the sharing okay 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 sir okay sir Uh Stu- Surya is still sharing the video. Uh Stu- Surya is still sharing the video. Uh, Surya 
So one minute. So one minute. Mr. Surya sir, can you please rejoin? Mr. Surya sir, rejoin. Um, Solomon, I cannot share. I'm sorry. I, I'm just still trying to share. Present. Uh, it's not happening. Yeah, I'm presenting now. I, I can see that. I request the participant to mute their audio and video. Those who clicked on the icon presentation kindly rejoin. Can we start? It's 10.30 now. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Um, can we start at 10.30 now? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Can we start at 10.30 now? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Can we start at 10.30 now? Yes, sir. Yes, father. Yes, father. Yes, sir. I'm waiting for the father's uh, reply. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can start now. Yes, sir. Um, I welcome, uh, uh, welcome all the participants for the webinar series 1, uh, session 2, Human Resource Practices in Pandemic COVID-19. Uh, now I welcome uh, Father Adekla Swami uh, to lead us in prayer. Father? Yes, yes. Father? Yes. Dear participants, I wholeheartedly welcome you all for the international series. Um, this is the second session. Let us invite the Holy Spirit among us. The presence of the Lord, the leader. Let us all close our eyes and let us pray to the Lord. Our Father Almighty God, in your mighty name, we surrender our international webinar series into your hands. Now, with your support and blessings, we are having the second session. And especially, we, the St. Joseph's College and the Department of Commerce, we are receiving a lot of blessings from you. Especially, we seek your blessings on Mr. Ashwin Rajkumar, who is our resource person. Lord, send your spirit among all of us so that we will, we will be inspired by your Holy Spirit. I also surrender our founder and chairman, Reverend Father J. Arul Raj, into your hands. And I surrender our administrator, Reverend Sister Dr. K. Sandhya, 
and also we remember our principal dr ruben vice principals all our hods and staff members and all our participants lord be with us and then us mother mary in the seat for us saint joseph in the seat for us we ask this prayer through christ our lord amen 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 uh, i request uh, our head of the department reverend father dr arikla sami to deliver a welcome address Uh, thank you solomon sir uh, yes, dear part- dear participants it's a great event in the history of st joseph's college uh, st joseph's college arts and science is in kobo uh, on the nearby kundrato it is uh, run by the dmi sisters and the founder is reverend father j arul raj and it's a charitable institution more than 4000 students they are studying especially the students they are coming from the rural background and they are studying in this college and we the pg department of commerce is a big department and uh, we have the divisions of bcom cs bcom andf and also we have our sister concern bba and we have more than 1500 students in our street and today uh, in this pandemic period the students and the staff members they are at the home and so in the field of commerce human resources is the life blood of the business so when we look um, the human resources in the pandemic period and uh, it's uh, we are looking for different resource persons but in my mind uh, mr ashwin rashkumar uh, is a reliable person and he has a rich experience in the field of human resource and presently he is working in uae and he is a senior advisor and he is working in different fields and i'm sure and he is the right person to address human resource practices during pandemic covid 19 and he is the well known uh, human resource personnel uh, in the uh, field of uh, management as well as he is working in the very renowned company in uae and he is uh, uh, he is the person sitting in the panel for recruiting performance appraisal and all other activities now uh, uh, during this season and uh, we are uh, having uh, ashwin rashkumar as a resource person dear sir we are happy to have you as a resource person by god's grace we got you and i also pray and wish you that god will bless you uh, abundantly and you will have the good uh, uh, health and prosperous life and also i welcome our uh, founder chairman reverend father j arul raj our administrator our and sister k sandhya our principal and vice principals all hods and all staff members and dear participants and without you we are not happy and the uh, indonesia bina series and i will not take much time uh, so now i hand over the session to our resource person with this uh, small introduction i welcome you all for this international webinar series session 2 welcome thank you sir thank you solomon sir for uh, asking me to deliver the welcome speech thank you sir thank you thank you father dear people uh, this is arvin signing in i am signing in from uh, uae dubai and uh, i am working here for last 12 years in this country and with 2 years experience in india so almost 14 years experience now and uh, uh, mr solomon i just i'll just ask your help to stop the other people screening because i'm going to go to my presentation yes, so sir, please sure, can because yes, i'm going to go to the presentation now okay, okay so okay. let's uh, i welcome you all for my presentation for the on the the topic human resources practices during pandemic covid 19 uh, which is simply called as new normal for everyone that we are undergoing now just a quick uh, brief about uh, what i'm doing here and where i'm working i work for a, in the construction industry and uh, we do have several different sectors especially infrastructure building marine and mep facility management and joint and interiors uh, our operations happens in uae as well as in qatar and uh, total strength of our company you can say it's almost like 12000 plus 
and in the staff cadre we have around uh, 2900 plus and in labor and skill cadre we have almost like 9000 plus and all our skilled and labor are accommodated in our own premises camp accommodation and we do have ongoing projects in UAE and Qatar almost like 40. The reason why I want to give you a brief about my uh, construction sector is because I want, when I'm going to explain about the pandemic and the HR role in this pandemic, I want you to understand or imagine the structure and the width of location that what we are covering now. So, of course, we as in this current generation, we all come to know about what is pandemic basically. Some of us, even including me, we don't know the I don't know the meaning of pandemic almost like two years back. No, I have heard, but now we are experiencing. Everyone is experiencing what is pandemic. So basically, this is our call for facing the difficult side of the life. It's okay, we will do that. So when we go into the topic here, what I can say is like you know this. First, we have to defer what is the impact of this pandemic in an, in an individual and on a company. Basically, when you say about the impact on an individual, it is like more of the movement restrictions happens, infection spread is happening, the panic situation is happening, and excessive stress of the cows involved by the individual, and the financial burden experienced by the individual, and difficulties in day and day to day life. Basically, whatever it may be, this pandemic to be faced with courage and with strategy in order to survive in this current situation. So when it comes to the company wise, what are the a company as an organization, what it will experience during this pandemic? A project delay, a cancellation of job awards, any job which is going to come to the company, it will be cancelled because of the delay the, in, in the moments and other things and uh, payments are not received on time and uh, there is block in the revenue of and cash flow management and uh, lack of funds for the payroll and there will be numerous health hazards and the disinfection management has to undergo in various different sectors. So in this current pandemic situation, this is a very critical situation where we need to enhance our skills and to extend help for the individual working in our company in order for them to feel safe and secure and continue the work, whatever it may be, whether the situation is pandemic or not the ball has to move on and we need to proceed with the current day-to-day -day work activities because that is our breadwinner for our work the breadwinner for our life and even for our family so and even people working in abroad like me the family we need to support in india there are so many other responsibilities so whether it is a pandemic or not the ball has to move on so I want to tell you that, you know, here in UAE, the construction sector, it has been classified as a critical sector because the critical sectors, health as health, health sector, as well as uh, hospitality and uh, construction and banking. We have several critical sectors, even do, during this pandemic, we are still working as normal. Uh, of course, we do we go with all kind of safety uh, issues, like you no know, safety uh, equipments. Like for example, we do have our uh, mask and uh, gloves and sanitizers and and uh, and isolation people, isolation wards, quarantine wards. There are so many things in which the during the pandemic also we still start working as normal, which we call as new normal. Basically, in a company, okay, the things the operational wise, the company will run out. All problems, you know, all these problems will be managed operationally by the senior management and everything. But what happens in a pandemic? When it comes to a pandemic, even the senior management doesn't have a way through to look forward what is going to happen and how are we going to proceed with that. That is where the human resources department being a support function, they transform themselves to a lifesaver department. Basically, when I say a lifesaver, it is going to help the employee as well as the employees. So basically, it is a win-win situation where we need to manage with the employee's issues as well as the employer issues. So that is what being carried out now. So when we get into the uh, in-depth of this uh, situation, what are the strategies which we follow? What are the strategies which we follow to enhance this, enhance our work capabilities in this current pandemic situation? The first main uh, criteria which uh, HR uh, has to look after is business continuity. Is business continuity. I'm sorry, someone is interrupting. 
Deepa Randi, ma'am, kindly mute your audio. Deepa Randi, ma'am. Yeah, let me continue. So, what are the strategies which we follow in the current pandemic situation? Department in in conjunction with the senior management, we have taken three different sectors, which is the main three strategies which we need to follow in this current situation to to be the survival of the fittest. Basically, business continuity. What matter? No matter what, the business has to move on. The operations has to function amidst COVID situations. Employee life can't be put under threat. Employer must have enough funds to 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 serve the employees and pay their salaries on time to support them in their needs. So by end of the day, we have to run the show. That is what we call as business continuity. So when it comes to business continuity, we have five different sectors like organization redesign, job redesign, compensation restructuring, hiring strategy, and talent management. So these are the five different verticals which HR is now accessing for surviving the pandemic. Okay. Why these main three sectors? For what reason? Just three main sectors were selected because of restructuring and streamlining, trimming the fat, increasing the efficiency, and to control and redirect towards the success. Okay. In the first point, the business continuity, organization redesign. In conjunction with work with the senior management, HR department has to study and create a new structure of the organizational department. Basically, the uh, unwanted sectors or the luxury sectors, we can say, for example, in, even in HR, the development and training or trial and error method or, or even a designing team where in the due course of a project which is in the handover stage or in a uh, in the midway of the project where the design is not repaired. So we have to have a new structure of the prop management as well as the superior, sorry, supervisor management. And we have to assess the current workload on what kind of reorganizational design that we are going to do because we don't know what is the workload pending. Because of this pandemic, there are so much of workload pending. So you have to assess the workload and then you have to restructure your organization department, organizational structure. And the next one is like identify your key players because you know what even though in this current uh, pandemic situation there are some key players in the in the, in the companies whereas like operational directors they can say or the project directors or a quantity surveyor in a commercial department where these people always deal with the cost always deal with the funds which we have because any mistakes if these people do it will react it will it will reflect in a very bad manner and then it will have a big fine bill on your table so identify those key, key players but first of all, keep them safe. Give them the proper and enough kind of an, an environment as well as what is the technology they require. Provide them with that and then make them work peacefully so that at least they will concentrate in the work and in order to not to slip from their hands. And trim the excess load. Basically, the trim the excess load means what I'm saying is like, if an, a function is a luxury to you in this current situation, if a function is a luxury to you, you should not have it. Basically, you should have only the necessary things which you need to do in the current organization and the remo remove the duplicates if in case if you have a person who is a document controller and you have a document controller manager of course it's a duplication of work basically a document controller can still do that instead of a manager so remove your duplicates and if possible outsource it all your design all your uh, um, environmental activities like all your uh, all your uh, uh, reports and stuff you know if in case if you can outsource it or you can automate it on your go Yes, that will be more helpful to proceed with that. So the next comes is a job redesign. For example, anyone, for example, has a job, a role, and a responsibility. That needs to be relooked. Basically, a person to be given a more responsibility now and to enhance his skills and to, and to empower him, he needs to come up his ladder and then provide some kind of a efficient work which will favor the company and this relook of job designations has to happen from the top management to the bottom management yes there are some 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 head cuts will happen but we can't we can't avoid it now we need to do that this is a necessary function which we need to do this redesigning of the job roles and responsibility this is happening only to ensure the maximum productivity in the site because Whatever happens, you know, the construction industry, it will not work like a software industry or an IT sector because the construction has to happen physically in the site premises. We can't 
do it on a work from home basis no the, the site engineers the quantity surveyors the, the foreman the the, the charge and um, the safety engineers they need to be on site physically even though it's a pandemic situation in order to deliver the projects within the time because why i'm saying is most of the projects which we do are basically they are government oriented projects because they might be having some airports upcoming some bridges upcoming so these are also government projects which need to be done so in ensuring the job job redes redesigning and then re uh, relooking the job roles and responsibilities is very much very much important and implement succession planning for example if your senior management got uh, covid positive he can't work so what to do you have to have a succession planning maybe you have to have a deputy or, a, or an assistant person to step into his shoes and this kind of a succession planning has to happen in a very methodological way of course, the, the next point is a quite a difficult point. Basically, it's a company compensation restructuring. 100%, 100%, this is a very, very difficult point because in this current situation, no one is going to have, uh, no one is going to accept your salary um, uh, deduction or something. But to be frank, we have to uh, give the breathing space to the employer who feeds us, who pays our salary. Basically, like it is necessary to trim the fat and to have some reductions in the temporary reductions in the basic basic salary, whereas their uh, allowances is not to be touched. Basically, allowances should be given as it is because, for example, people will be staying in a camp accommodation, people will be staying on a, a private accommodation with their with their own uh, uh, transportation costs. There are so many other things that are involved in that. So the compensation restructuring is also one of the main factors which we need to take into consideration. So uh, there, there is a temporary, um, the HR has introduced a temporary reduction on these basic salaries, but it will be repaid as incentives when we go to the phase from new normal to normal. This is what the com commitment given for the senior management to us, and we are delivering the same. So the compensation restructuring is an unavoidable thing at this current scenario, which we need to happen so that the employer has Sorry again. Sorry again. Can you hear? Yes, I'll be able to. Ah, thank you. Thanks a lot. I'll I'll continue with that. Yes, so, the the, the, the next uh, business continuity activity is hiring strategy. Basically, even though you have to let go of people, but there are some key roles which is really important to continue in the business. So, how to identify the key roles? Right now, in this current situation, due to the job award cancellation or due to the uh, project on hold or whatever, so many reasons, there are people losing job, and there are hundreds and hundreds of available talents in the market. So being in the HR department, identify those talents because this is the right time to keep them high up, to hunt them and then keep it in your records so that when there is a necessary time, you can really reach out to the people and get them hired on your company. Whereas you will easily, easily can find any niche skill available in the market now. Any niche skills, who are all, who are all specific capabilities for a SAP consultant or, or, a, or a BIM consultant or whatever it may be when you call it for a design or for a commercial activity or a risk consultant or whatever. So these are the niche skills and people with those niche skill sets are available in the market now because of their job loss job uh, job losing uh, issues so what happens now is like this is a very good time to fish in the market for the best and the bigger fish so hiring strategy is 100 percent important to carry out in this business continuity because when you come back to the normal phase of recruitment back so you have to have right people on the right position to deliver your projects and next is the talent management. The talent management is basically like, you know, you have to fix the training gaps in the management and even in the supervisory level so that the key players who are all very much, very much important to work in a site, they have to be clearly trained with enough number of their, 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 their knowledge and, and with the job uh, knowledge and as well as with their uh, training on on the job or off the job or whatever they have to provide the key they have to identify the key players and and provide them a proper kind of trainings and also involve job rotations to enhance their skills because people who are little boredom of doing the same job and are too in this current uh, mental trauma they are quite not happy to proceed with their job because of this uh, work from home or stay stay inside the home or whatever the situation that what we have now so 
job rotations will literally make the job interesting for them because it's a new new position that they are uh, working on they are uh, continuing with their own uh, uh, creativity to work on the new positions with, with interest say so they go forward with that so this is very much very much required for the talent management job rotation activities or schedule that need to be done and even in this in from the senior management they have to assign task oriented goals or short term goals in order to monitor the productivity in the site or in the company because when there is no clear monitoring happening then it is a very very difficult situation to see what is happening on the other side of the thing because everyone cannot go physically and check it as like before but now it has to everything to be monitored the reports has to come on the on, on time and this reports has to be analyzed and the commercially it has to be sustaining so that it will help in the projects to get profit or its projects will go on the loss so this is the first point of business continuity when it comes to the next one employee support and well being basically employee support this is one of the main criteria now it's being uh, handled by hr department of course earlier also we do have provide employee support but here the employee support during a pandemic it has to be on 24 hours and you need to be available and be, just imagine you are not in your home country you are in a foreign country and then uh, any any issue with respect to covid or any issues with respect to your health or uh, with the family or anything of that sort uh, how the people can help who can help the people how they can come for the help how can they can ask for the help only in this foreign country you are an expert like many other different national people available here you are an expert so what has to be done you have to have one point of contact from hr to help those needy of your employees of uh, help those need of the employees basically example what i'm saying is like as a hr i work as a bridge between my employees and the government health officials to manage the covid and i also work as a bridge between my employees and the health insurance providers to cover the expenses of those covid basically the covid covid expenses are too high those bills always hits the sky because this is a situation where people are literally minting money and also people who are getting drowned like anything because of their of their uh, cap non capability to survive in the current situation so being a hr provide them with proper health insurance provide them with the proper support and uh, always have a touch with the government health officials to properly manage your covid people and uh, have your own uh, isolation and quarantine uh, facilities where you can still help those people to manage how to say for example i am a family person i do have a family and i am going daily and come i am going to work daily and coming so basically i am spending my larger part of office time outside my home when i come back i may be covid but to be frank if i am covid i have to provide myself i have to isolate myself but being having a family with me my kids are here my family is here so i cannot be isolated in my own home home i have to have a separate isolation facility or a quarantine facility where i have to go and stay away so these kind of facilities are managed by hr department we talk to the hotels we do have our own camps we have a separate camp for an isolation and quarantine centers and these are the these are the help and these are the support which we provide an employee one will be as a government uh, instruction we are now operating only with 30% of staffs we are not having the 70% staffs on the work so 30% staffs who are working for sure we will be paying the salaries but what about the 70% so we have to identify those people so we have to identify those needs those 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 support so job rotation activities which i told you earlier which is very much essential so this 30% and 70% the rotation happens as a as a, as, a, as a, on a schedule and this has to be managed by hr department so there are various sectors of uh, divisions i'm sorry i'm getting interrupted again can i continue yes sir yes sir okay fine sorry uh yeah this 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 operationally what we are managing is like 30 and 70% on our remote and rotational basis this is one of the schedules which hr is issuing to the employees to manage it so that everyone gets a chance to work and even though they work only 20 days a month or only 25 days a month or only 15 days a month it's up to the schedule but whether you like it or not we have to take it forward and the, the next is people that i told you the labor and 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 uh, uh, skilled employees or the laborers or the skilled uh, staffs 
there are almost like 9,000 people in our camp facilities. Then this camp facilities, they do have a separate isolation and quarantine centers, as I told you, but the disinfection management of for them is quite a very critical and important thing which we are doing now. We are we are having uh, companies uh, working with us, like facility management companies, even our own facility management division, they are working with us for disinfection of those uh, premises in offices, sites and camps and everywhere. And another most uh, uh, difficult uh, thing to handle is the site working culture, the site working structure, because for example, the social distancing needs to be done and there should be someone who's monitoring it, even though the safety departments are monitoring it. But we as a HR department, we have a clear structure of set of rules which we have which we have framed and then we have given it to the safety department to manage it. So this disinfection as well as this social distancing and as well as uh, covering the site, offices, camp, facilities and uh, 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 isolation wards and quarantine wards, everything is managed uh, by the HR department. That's what I told you. Being a support function earlier, now we are a lifesaver department in the company and we are now streamlining and, and steering the company moving forward next uh, the situation what we are having is like the workforce recovery okay all these things happen yes uh, now uh, thank god that we are seeing that the covid patients uh, numbers are coming down and the spread is quite controlled so soon from this new normal we will be going back to the normal that can happen anytime and when you go back to the new from the new normal to the normal phase that is anticipation phase but we can't ignore what are all the precautionary measures that we have taken all these days this precautionary measures what what i can say is like the safety and and and, and uh, not putting an employee on a threat and uh, uh, employee well-being employee uh, support and redeploying the full strength to their maximum efficiency so these are the tasks which we need to consider now in the from the new normal phase to the normal phase because we are expecting for example in this current situation uh, the government has initiated has given an uh, initiation to bring back the employees from the from the 30 percent to 50 to 70 and 200 so there are steps and then each and every step they have almost like 45 days to 30 days gap so basically each and uh, every set of employees they'll be joining us back from the new normal stage to the normal stage whereas we'll soon be back in, with the 100 uh, percent employee strength in the company so redeploying them with the full strength and redeploying them with the safety measures and not threatening their life it's also one of the main main tasks which we are currently doing it and when, when, when it comes to the site premises, yes, we do have a proper management. When it comes to office, what happens? What happens in the workplace restructuring? This workplace restructuring is also another another uh, activity which we are doing. Basically, even though the workplace, even though we have cubicles, for example, we can't expect people to be just be very much concerned about their work because they may sneeze, they may cough, they may have a cold, normal, normal cold, but the person next to him is quite afraid to work so he is not willing to work next to him so basically when we are back to the normal stage of 100 uh, percent strength strength there is requirement of workplace restructuring so this workplace restructuring as per the health and the authority norms hr is designing the new kind of a workplace restructuring which is managed right now and these are all the new tasks and these are all the, uh, the, the the things which we haven't handled all these years so now this is called a disaster management and this is what is happening at present right now and uh, by this slide um i think i have come to my end of the slides basically i have now given you a structure about what's happening and then an idea about what's happening in in a, in, a, in, a, in a gulf region about how management is happening for uh, hr and what we are doing now uh, to protect our employees and keep them safe and stay safe and flatten the curve and how to enhance our skills in this current situation so thank you all for listening to me uh, i think i have finished within the time uh, mr solomon is it fine that i have finished or i have still have time yes sir you have time sir you can okay fine so in that case i would like to enhance uh,
some more uh, topic of for the talent management so when it comes to talent management in the business continuity the talent management sector what we are doing right now it has to has enhance and empower every individual and their contribution has to be recognized their contribution has to be recognized and uh, this contribution why i'm saying is like uh, for example a junior staff if he is not given an opportunity to excel himself to improve his talents and, and he has to come up in life an opportunity has to knock his door unless and until it's not going to happen so this talent management you have to have an in depth study of the person what he is doing what is his educational qualifications and what he can proceed with and prolong in further future so this study has to happen on an individual basis and it has to happen on a my basis from top to bottom from the top management to the junior management with supporting documents such as their performance skills evaluation their training and uh, developmental records and uh, everything so uh, mr solomon i think i have finished my stuff i don't want to elaborate it more so thanks for this opportunity and thanks for this time and uh, can i just say a thanks to father um father i request uh, now uh, participants to ask questions sir will answer your questions you can uh, post your questions in the chat box if anybody have any questions uh ashwin sir there, there is a question from vivek or maria yeah can you hear me yeah yeah i can hear you please in other yeah in other sectors excluding construction field when everyone wants to either downsize or lay off employees do you think once we go to uh, we go to normal uh, uh, normal phase will they hire more employees according to the workload or they may ask the current employees to continue to have more workload see they cannot pressure the current employees to have more workload because they are coming from a new normal phase to a normal phase the depending upon the workload depending upon their job requirement the hiring has to start because there is always a cycle the management is always a cycle this cycle works on and off now we are undergoing a difficult situation where people has to uh, downsize but in the future when the job is coming back from the new normal to normal 100% the hiring strategy and hiring has to start and it will be new employees and it will give opportunities for everyone to get interview and there will be so many opportunities going to come because being in dubai now just two days, two, two days back the government issued a notice that there will be people coming back soon in different places back to the 100% but when you talk about the workload they are now even now they are analyzing the future workload and there are job opportunities already rising in the market so don't worry we will have new hires happening so another question from uh, vidika maria in other sectors excluding construction field when everyone wants to either downsize or lay off employees so, do you think sorry solomon solomon this, this is the same question i answered now Yes, sir, yes, sir. So another question from Vaishnavi, uh, sir. What can be expected out of HR department when it comes to rec recruiting new blood in the organization, considering that the COVID pandemic has put the employment of current employee at stake? See, right now, when the system when your system is ongoing, when when you are working together, like any, even though in the current pandemic situation we work from home or whatever thing still happens the current the current people what we have of course their job is in the state 100% no, no no worries in that but when we go from new normal to normal there are opportunities arising for different people and because it is not happening automatically it is happening because of the workload increase so the workload increase will be tenfold it can't be one fourth or two fourth it will be tenfold and forty fold so 
that our department will look for fresh blood of course as you said new blood but it has to have some skills what kind of skills we require for example when we have to handle lots of uh, like document management there is a software called iconix a people as a normal document controller who who, who place labels in the system and then to works as a with the hard copies will not work but a person with the software skills like iconix for sure he will be called for a new opportunity so during this pandemic enhance your skills you need to enhance your skills and keep yourself updated in the market the pandemic is not stopping you from learning you learn you enhance your skills and when the right opportunity comes in grab it sir i have a personal questions uh, regarding yes. uh, our students uh, our uh, final year students almost completed uh, their uh, degree Uh, how will be the hr department in future because concerning uh, covid 19 how will be the hr department in future see it um, it is not only it is not only uh, a person oh, sorry sorry uh, the question is like it is not only the construction companies which are where the hr are delivering right now it is everywhere so hr is the managing because because they are the people who are always in few in constant touch with the whole strength of the company okay so this is where the hr role becomes very critical and very important so in the future the field of hr there will be lots and lots of opportunities and a person who wants to excel in hr of course there are so many certification they need not be an mba they need not be an uh, uh, they need not be a person who is qualified in hr they have so many different certifications like cipd like chrp hrcp there are so many so many different certifications which even though they have mcom and bcom they can do the certification and they can get into hr field okay 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 sir so another more question a little bit change in that uh, what are the issues students will face when they come out of their final year after uh, this pandemic and how challenging it will be for them uh, what are the issues students will face when they come out of the final year yes sir exactly very simple the thing is like you know uh, when we come out of the pandemic when you say when you come out of the pandemic there is a time scale whether we are coming out within months or whether we are coming out within years because uh, as per the world health organization the current pandemic situation what they are expecting they say the social distancing and everything will need to continue for the next 2 years yes but that doesn't mean the workload has to come down that workload is still there whatever that your company or your management promised that they have to deliver whether it is an it sector whether it's a construction sector whether it's a hospitality sector that need to be done that need to be delivered delivered on time so of course there will be a huge uh, competition as well as in the job market but during this pandemic including the people who are freshers there will be employed uh, with with experienced people will also be competing in the same market so a fresher being getting into a first keeping a first step in a good position will be a quite difficult situation whereas we have to compete not only with the uh, uh, fresher of a same cadre it you have to compete with the experienced people also thank you thank you so much sir for on answering all our participants questions and uh, we are at the conclude of the session thank you so much sir for being with us uh, for the entire session and uh, your address us uh, in very important uh, topic uh, dr wazima yasin as a one of our participant has mentioned a nice session sir and thanks to the organizers for bringing up this session at the job crisis situation due to pandemic uh, we thank you sir from all utterly uh, we are waiting for another more uh, session with you thank you thank you so much sir thank you for all thank you for all the listeners and uh, as i told you earlier uh, if in case if you guys need my contact uh, you can contact the college st joseph college mr solomon or father adikalam they can help you in contacting me thanks a lot thanks for all your patience thank you thank you thank you so much sir Can I log out? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Next question. 
Uh, now I request uh, our participants, or uh, I invite our participants. Uh, our webinar uh, third series is going to held. Kindly check your mailbox. You find the link of the third session. Thank you. Thank you all. The participants, you can uh, fill the feedback, and you will get the ACE certificates. And we are going to start uh, our third session at 3 p.m. So kindly register yourself uh, prior 10 minutes, and you will be accepted. Uh, since uh, we have limited participants, uh, kindly come uh, 10 minutes before for every session. And tomorrow we have two sessions. Tomorrow at 12 p.m. we have the first session, and the second session will be uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And the third series will be on 31st May. And we are going to have the first session at 10, 10 a.m. And the second session will be the third p.m. For any queries, you can contact hod.com at, at the rate of St. Joseph uh, College dot ac dot a. For any further sir, uh, sir. inquiries, you can. Sir, uh, first, what about first session? Uh... Salman, we'll have... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Sir, what about first session uh, feedback form, sir? Yes, sir. We posted in the chat box. Kindly find the... Uh, Not working, sir. Uh, we will share it again, sir. We will share it again for your reference. Thank you, okay. sir. Thank you a lot. Oh, Thanks sorry. a lot. Oh, if you are not... Thank yeah. If they are not getting, they have to check it after 5 p.m. So it will be open. Sir, any other information you have to share, sir? Salman, sir. Yes. You will find uh, your feedback forms in the chat box. You can fill it any time. Thank you. Thank you all. And join us for the next session. Thank you. Salman, sir, uh, stop recording for the moment. Yeah, yes, sir. Sir, this is some feedback link, sir. So one minute, one minute. One, one minute, I'll be sharing. One minute, I'll be sharing. OK? OK, OK, sir. Thank you, sir. OK. Father, one minute, father. Okay. 